I learned a fucking thing. Damn, that's fucked up, man. What's going on, ladies? Hello, Trevor. What kept you? Business, Michael, business. Uh, All right? I'm the CEO of a big international corporation. It's very time-consuming. Nothing, of course, you'd understand, being a gentleman of leisure. Uh, you know, you know, Franklin, <laughs> if there's one thing that you're gonna learn from being around us... Please, just fucking insanity. Then they can't fry you. If you want something done, go to the busy man. This rich fuck is useless. Uh, oh, ho, hold on, man. Could y'all knock this shit off? Oh, Fucker. look! Boys, your boys, it's the feds. Hey, where's the other three? What other three? We told you to bring along six. This is a six-man job. No, you didn't. You Dave did? No, Dave didn't. You said you'd do it. That is a frickin' lie. I do not get things wrong. All right, great. Then we're out of here. <laughs> fuck <laughs> it. Let's go. You three can do it alone. And I fuck you. You do your own dirty work. Hey, I do my dirty work every day, keeping the country safe from scum like you. And you're doing a great job, sir. Hey, you want this job done? Then come with us, huh? Come on, come on, Mr. Leisure Wear, Mr. Depressed Accountant. Let's go save America. Who the fuck are we saving it from this time? This is the real deal. My sources are convinced there's a plot in international affairs, you know, the agency. And they're using this facility to make a serious nerve toxin. Ah, <laughs> bullshit. Yeah. Which they plan in their mind-blowing insanity to let a major terrorist release on a metropolitan area so they can continue to get funding. Nothing increases funding for fighting terrorism more than successful acts of terrorism. <laughs> all, right, so, so, all right, so let me get this straight then. No, 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 no. There is no getting it straight. That's the point. Now we're doing this. You two are on getaway. Fuck off and make it happen. Michael, you're with us. What size flipper you wear? Agent Orton, been a while since you were in the field. The sight of you in neoprene is something we say for our worst enemies. Shut up, I'll be fine. And you, get in. You're driving. Follow the coast to the south. It's not far. Listen to me, Steve. No wisecracks, got it? No fucking cliches. We're fighting for the freedom of the people today. Don't lecture me on patriotism. You've been living outside the system too long. Social responsibilities, a joke to you. So maybe I redeem myself, get killed in the process, huh? That old bullshit. No one is dying on my watch. Not even the burnout bank robber with temper issues and nothing to live for. A hero's death is too good for you. You'll die in the ignominy you deserve. Oh, thank God. Fate shall carry me safe through these selfless acts of charity. This is the bay. We can get in through the discharge tunnel. Here it goes! be a great over the outlet. Townley, you've got the cutter. When we get there, go to work punching through. Roger that. Can I keep this for the next vault I hit? 
That gas won't last forever, so cut smart. So, you got any more little facts for me from the instruction manual? Thought you'd want some intel on the equipment we sourced using your hard-won funds. Ha! I figured it was all gonna go on a wardrobe full of windbreakers. Oh, and maybe some nipple clamps. to the facility. You sure this thing comes out where you think it does? The intel is good. We're 100 yards out. Ah, I feel like I'm giving a colonoscopy to the Statue of Happiness. Nice change from being up Trevor Phillips' ass all day. You feel that? Water's getting warmer. You wet your pants, Davey? This is a cooling tunnel. Of course it's getting warmer. No one urinated. Uh, I know for a fact that that ain't true. The problem with this job is I only get to know the criminals who are dumb enough to get themselves caught. Yeah, only I wasn't caught, remember? I turned myself in. He makes a point. That makes you doubly dumb. Born ready. Let's do this. Come on, Dave. What's the plan? Hey, hey, hey. We locate the toxin and action our escape strategy. That's what we got. Great. <laughs> Lead the way. Bank robber, your job is to keep this covert and non-lethal as long as you can. Against the wall. Quick. <laughs> Sooner we're done, the better. You, don't be a hero. Drop your weapon. Hey, how'd you get down here? Ah. Okay. Now hit the elevator. So what exactly does a neurotoxin look like? You're on a need-to-know basis, bank robber. Shut it. Elevator coming. Body on board. Stay vigilant. Out, out, out! Easy now, easy now. Please, don't! You got clearance? Give it up! <gasps> Get the pass! Next floor! Come on! How you feeling about this? I'm feeling pretty damn fine. Yeah, if only your camera crew was here. Round to the right. Come on. Clear. Let's go. Two lap geeks. Got to deal with them. Put them up. Are you corporate? We got to keep moving. Corridor goes around to the left. Let's keep moving. I'm through here. Stay against this wall. Security is scheduled to come through here. Team incoming. Make a call. I dare you. Okay, we're clear. It's 
Swipe us in. Come on. Exit. Lab rat in the cage up ahead should have the secret sauce. Come on. Gore, now. You won't get in here. The locking mechanism is triggered from the inside. What's that? I got this. Let's go! Fuck me! 
Hey, Frank. It's cracking, man. So the chemical weapon in there, right? If it even is a chemical weapon, hell, it could be shaving cream for all I know. By the way, next time you're getting wet. Oh, but there won't be a next time, will there, Davy? There never is. I'll do my best for you. I always try. Yeah, well, maybe this time we'll get lucky. Maybe this time Steve will succumb to the strains of enhanced interrogation techniques. Interrogate him? Are you insane? They're probably decorating him right now. Hey, Davy, your boys at the agency are on to you, remember? Huh? You and Stevie. Just try and keep your heads down. Yeah, putz. What's this? Oh, fucking A. Yes! What's up, man? My days in the wilderness are over. Lester, he settled up with that crazy Mexican motherfucker. Gave him the artifact. <laughs> now, as long as Trevor handles the wife, we're good. But what about him, man? Yeah, fuck him. He likes the desert. Besides, we do one big score, we're all gonna have to go our own separate ways anyway. Oh, man. I can't wait to get back to that movie studio. <laughs> yeah, well, all right, man. Well, shit, I'll holler at you later then, all right? What a shit show. I'll tell you what, you could take this desert and stick it. My life may be a world of pain, but from here on out, it's gonna be cool, comfortable, air-conditioned pain. <laughs> take it easy. We had a wonderful time, Trevor, but we both know I made a vow to my husband. <coughs> I know! You have a great pain inside you, but you are a beautiful man. I've never been so happy and so sad in my life. You have a beautiful way with words. <coughs> No reason. Everyone I love abandons me. I am not abandoning you. I am going home. You treat you. I know. I know. No. Stay. You better treat her right, man! I will, amigo! Yeah, otherwise... The other ear! Of course! The way I see things, you and me and Michael, we're, we're friends now. Good friends! Such good friends that we will make a great effort to avoid one another. That's fucking perfect. Uh, thank Michael for this statue. It is exquisite. Yeah. Yeah, I will. Party's over then.
Hey, look out for fools like me. Take it. I can't afford another hospital bill. Man, seriously, you saved my ass. Oh, you're the man, buddy. Oh, it's cool, man. My repo instincts kicked in. Oh, hello. This is Raul from the cab company. They said you bought the business, so I wanted to introduce myself. All right, cool. Yeah. Good to meet you. It's a solid business. We do well. Some of our regulars can be a little fussy, but what do you expect in L.S., right? I'll give you a call if anything comes up, okay? All right, sounds good. It's me. I shouldn't have called. P Patricia! Mrs. Madrazo! Hey! Are you behaving, Trevor? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Patricia, I really miss you. Our time together is very important. I have to go. Vinewood Hills, by the sign. What the fuck is wrong with you? Thanks, this is so sweet of you. I was starting to think no one was going to stop. Short trust, <laughs> vulnerable but playful demeanor. What more does a girl have to do these days? You cast out this kind of bait, you'd expect at least a couple of old sharks to come sniffing. But along you came. Thank God. Uh, less of the old, please. I'm in the prime of my life. Just promise me you're not going to wear my skin or imprison me in a crawl space for 20 years. Joke, kind of. You're cool, right? Sorry, I'm coming down. I've been parting like a biatch. Yesterday was a blizzard, man. I don't even remember getting out of bed, let alone going to bed. Good times. Okay, and what's on top of the Vinewood Hills? I'm going to see my man. He's a security guard at the broadcast tower right behind the famous Vinewood sign. He's been stressed out, really working long hours, so I thought I'd surprise the big lug. We haven't seen each other for like a week. Or maybe it's two. I don't know. Crazy how time flies. Wait, that's my phone. Speak of the devil. Hey, sweetie, I was just talking about you. To this guy who was nice enough to give me a ride? No, not like that. I'm pitching back into town. Yeah, I know what happened last time, but I'm pretty sure this guy is okay. I ran out of money or I would have gotten a cab. Yes, all the thousand you gave me? What's the big deal? I said I'd pay you back. I'm sorry, okay? My phone was out of juice. I only just got it charged. I was staying at a friend's at Sandy Shores. You know, Brianna or Susie. No, I haven't spoken to him in weeks. This is just some random guy, I swear. Calm down, babe! Look! Would you tell him? Are you talking to me? Yes, tell him you're not a guy called Brian. You're just some random guy. What? 
Just shout it! I'm just some random guy not called Brian. There, babe, you believe me now? Babe! Babe! Shit, he hung up on me. Sorry about that. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, how well do you think that went? He'll be fine when I surprise him. Look out! When I surprise him. Probably just having a bad day. He can never stay mad at me for long. Opposites attract, you know. He's the serious, responsible, pay your bills, save for the future type, and I'm the sexy, bohemian, go off for days and do X in the middle of the desert type. I'm young. I'm still exploring my mind, discovering who I am. He knows I'll come back. When you run out of money. Whoa there, random guy. Less of the judging. Wait, there's my phone again. What's up? Yeah, hitching back into town. How do you think I feel? I'm wrecked. I know, I'll have one last bag etched on my tombstone. Don't flatter yourself. I can walk just fine, thank you. You're bad. Anyway, gotta go, I'll text you later. Don't tell me, Brian? What? No, just one of my girlfriends. Look, I'm seriously flagging now. I'm going to rest my eyes for a few minutes if that's cool. See if I can power nap my way into a second wind. So, broadcast tower behind the Vinewood sign, I think it's Mount Han Drive. Just holler when we get there. You're the best. And don't touch me or anything, okay? Can't promise anything. I jest, of course. You're horrible. Damn it. Miss me! Yes, and there he is. Hey, babe! Surprise! And who's this guy? What, no kiss? Hey, punk, what the hell do you think you're doing with my woman? Are you Brian? Calm down, I don't even know the guy. <laughs> what have you done to him, you psychopath? Bye -bye. Get over yourself already. In case you're wondering, everybody does see through you. They think you're a fake twat. You're feisty. And you know they're right, moron. Look at me. What'd you expect? Idiot! Shithead! Go and fuck yourself. I beat the shit out Come of lesser men than punish you. Punish me! Oh. Oh. Well, I guess that'll teach you.
Doc. Hey, it's me. Michael. Que pasa, amigo? Not good. Things have been pretty fucked up. You seem particularly confused, Mikey. Tell me why. <sighs> Things are bad, Doc. Really bad. Tell me all about it. Sharing is winning. I've been really bad, Doc. But I'm suffering. I mean, I've lost everything that matters. I'm hanging with a maniac who's certain to kill me if the government doesn't do it first. I want my family back. Well, I want them to be different. And me to be different. The world to be different. Obsessing about the things we've thrown away is an easy avoidance technique. Have you acted out in any other ways? I ain't been a good boy, Doc. I mean, you know, things just all of a sudden get up on top and right fucking on top. And then I lose my shit and I hurt people and then I feel bad about it. I, I, I'm a fucking prick. Remorse is good. But not as good as taking control before you act out. I really just want to be happy, Doc. Is that so bad? Okay, okay. Anything else? What about sex, Michael? Well, you know, I've, I've been a good boy in that regard. I'm making real progress, Doc. We are making progress, Michael. You're finally listening to me. Great. Ever since I pulled that fucking house off that fucking hill, my fucking life has been fucking fucked. The thing is, Michael, <laughs> you know me. I'm not a sugar coder or a script writer. I mean, we tried a full range of pharmaceutical solutions a couple of years ago, and that went nowhere we want to go back to. Agreed? Agreed. I ain't doing that again. Pissing myself, crying, sleeping in dinner, howling in the middle of the night. Fuck that shit. Maybe we got the doses a little wrong. You're going to have to get yourself under control. Listen, next time we meet, perhaps we should meet back at my office. But, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm afraid face-to-face -face sessions have got a little more expensive. I thought you said phone sessions were more expensive. Well, they were, but I realized that wasn't fair, so I raised the price on face-to-face. -face. I'm sure you understand. And if you don't, maybe you should. Be well.